Shelby Barron may be too young to drive, but she sure knows how to run circles around her opponents on the tennis court. Born with spina bifida, the Punahou School student has faced her fair share of challenges. Put a racket in her hand, and it's game on. Playing tennis makes me comfortable. <laughs> Something I love and makes me happy. <laughs> so I just feel, com really, feel really comfortable over here. The past several years, Shelby has been a fixture in the local tennis scene. And as a member of the USTA's Hawaii Pacific Junior Tennis Program, she usually finds herself playing against able-bodied opponents. The only advantage she gets is two bounces to their one. Oh, Shelby. Oh, God, I, I think I've known Shelby since she was um, 12. And I remember her mom, Rhoda, asking, you know, can Shelby play? And I said, absolutely. I, we all think she's ready. And, uh, hey, come on in. We just wanted to give her the opportunity like everybody else, and she fit in really easily. She has such drive and um, such passion for the game that um, she quickly fell in love with it, and we fell in love with her. You know, I am so extremely proud of her. Um, growing up, she's always been kind of um, self-motivated. She's always you know, done stuff. She hasn't really let anything stand in her way. Um, so for her to come out here and do what she does, uh, I think it's great. Shelby's been turning heads here in the islands for years. And this past July, she made a huge impression on a much bigger level, competing against the world's best at a wheelchair tennis camp in California. We didn't know what to expect. You know, um, we didn't know how she compared to other players in wheelchairs because she basically only plays able-bodied people. But a funny thing happened in California. Shelby won her first match, then set her sights on round two. I was like, okay, this girl's gonna be even more difficult. I'm gonna try really hard. And I won, and I was so amazed. Shelby's second round victory set up a championship showdown with the number four player in the world from Brazil. And although she ultimately came up short, she won several games and gained so much more in the process. It was my first tournament, so it's definitely a really big experience, and I think it was really fun, so I want to compete more. I learned, okay, I'm at this level, so I'll try harder and train, and then I'll try to compete again. Shelby also learned there may be opportunities to play for the U.S. national team, and even represent Hawaii and the United States in the Paralympic Games. Wherever the games take her, her support staff will be right there by her side. Oh, definitely. I mean, I didn't. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I mean, I just put a son into college this year, and you know, she's got tuition coming up. But um, we'll find a way. In the meantime, Shelby is just happy to be back home and playing with her friends. Friends, she says, have always allowed her to feel like she belongs. I do feel like I'm part of those people because they're surrounding me. I don't really see myself when I'm playing and I'm playing at their level basically and I'm hitting with them. I, I really feel part of this group and even Kilauea Junior Tennis, they make me feel part of the family. I'm really happy with them.